Hi viewers, welcome to Electrical Lectures YouTube channel. In this video, I will be telling you how to insert mathematical symbols and Greek letters in your latex document. In the previous videos, I have already mentioned how to insert equations, but in this video, I will be focusing how to introduce and insert mathematical symbols and different Greek symbols in your latex document. So before starting, you should keep one important point in mind that whenever you are going to write mathematical symbols or Greek letters, you need to write them in the equation environment as shown by this begin and end equation block. And the second method is to write them inside dollar signs. If you want to write them in line, then you need to use dollar signs. And if you want to write them in the form of an equation, then you need to use equation environment. First of all, let me show you how to write integral and summation in your latex document. So let's say I am writing x is equal to backslash sum. This backslash sum is the default command to write summation. And whatever you need to write below the summation sign, you will write after underscore. Let's say I am going to write n is equal to 0. And whatever you need to write on the upper side of the summation, you will write after this sign. For example, I write here capital N. So you can see this is the required summation in your generated PDF. Similarly, you can write integral in your latex document. The command for writing integral is backslash int. Again, Whatever you need to write in the lower limit, you will write after underscore. For example, it is 0. And whatever you need to write in the upper limit, you will write after this sign. For example, I write here 5. So it will be an integral from 0 to 5. And let's say after that, I am writing here as 2 times y, for example. So it is like this. Now, if you want to write a mathematical equation consisting of some trigonometric or mathematical functions, for example, cos, sine, tangent, natural log, exponential, and other mathematical functions, then it depends on what kind of editor you are using. I am using TextMaker, so I will be showing you how to insert such mathematical uh, expressions in TextMaker. If you are using a different editor, there must be some other method, but it will be similar to the one I will show you. So for text maker, you will go to math and then you go to math, math functions and inside math function, you can see there is a list of several mathematical functions. For example, I need to write co cosine. So I will simply click from here. And if you already know the command, then you do not know, need to go through uh, this math function. You can directly write backslash cos. But there are many mathematical functions and usually you cannot remember uh, these large number of mathematical functions. So it is easy to go through this math option and math function. So inside now I can write for example 2 pi ft. So it will be like this. Next, if you uh, want to write a mathematical equation containing superscripts and subscripts, then what is the method? It is very simple. For example, I want to write x is equal to y square. So it will be y. And whatever you need to write in the superscript, you will write after this sign. So it will be y square. So you can see this is simply x is equal to y square. Similarly, if you want to write this 2 in the subscript, then you will simply use the underscore and write like this. So it is y subscript 2. And again, if you want to write uh, both the subscript and superscript in the same mathematical expression, then you will first write the subscript. For example, here it is underscore 2. And then in the same line, you will write superscript after this sign which is 
so it must be by subscript 2 and power 3 so it will be like this you can see 2 is appearing in the subscript and 3 is appearing in the superscript now there are other kinds of mathematical equations in which you need to write math accents which means uh, for example you need to place a bar or hat or tilde above or below a mathematical symbol then how to introduce that one so to do this you need to go through again this math function and here you will see math accents for example you need to place a bar over mathematical symbol then you will simply click this and inside the curly braces you will write the name of the mathematical symbol for example it is y so you can see that a bar is appearing over y similarly if you want to place a hat so you can directly write hat over here and a hat is placed over y So in the same way you can go through other math accents option that text maker is offering right now we come towards the last portion of the video in which i will be showing you how to introduce greek symbols and letters in your latex document you can insert these greek letters by simply writing their names and there are two categories either you need to write small greek letters i mean uh, lowercase greek letters or you need to write uppercase greek letters for example i am writing an equation which is alpha is equal to beta plus gamma so i will write backslash alpha only you need to do uh, is to place a backslash before the name okay if you want to write alpha then you will simply write backslash alpha and that is equal to backslash beta plus backslash gamma so in this way you can see alpha is equal to beta plus gamma and if you want to write the greek letters in uppercase then you need only to change the first alphabet to the uppercase english alphabet so if i am going to write uppercase gamma then i will be writing gamma over here for small gamma it will be like this similarly if you want to write omega it will be like this if you want to write capital omega it will be like this okay so let me run it and you can see this is capital gamma this is small gamma this is small omega this is capital omega so in this way you can place these greek letters and latex also helps you by suggesting the corresponding name of that greek letter for example if i am going to write omega I just write O M. So you see, it is suggesting that the correct spelling of omega is this. Okay. Similarly, if I am going to write gamma, then it is suggesting that these are the correct spellings. For example, if I am going to write uh, eta, so you see I have written E T. So it is suggesting me eta. So you can see that eta will be appearing over here. So in this way, you can easily place several greek letters inside your latex document so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to our channel electrical lectures